Well, it is uh, 4.55 in the morning. I am getting ready to head out for a surveillance. So, uh, yeah, I gotta hurry up and get there. Stop by and get some coffee before I go. It better be open. I've been driving for about an hour and I will have to say today's rain is a little bit out of control. Like, uh, it, it, it's a pretty rainy day today. So the roads are kind of poo-poo. Makes me a little worried uh, when it comes to following something like that. But uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. So I'm a little bit early. So that means I'm going to pick up some Starbucks uh, one more time. Good morning, what's making it for you? The uh, Grande Pike Place Drift with about six ice cubes to cool it off. And so I got my Starbucks and I'm going to be on my surveillance site in just a few minutes. So. Because uh, these surveillances are confidential, obviously, um, you probably won't see me again until after the surveillance is over with. So hopefully it goes well, um, and hopefully I'm able to get eight hours. If not, well, that's how it goes sometimes. I'll uh, see you after the surveillance. So I wanted to take a second just before we go back to the end of the surveillance. Um, just to let you know that so when you do a surveillance, I mean, it's, it's um, how do I put this? I could drive three hours to a surveillance case, be there for an hour, the person that I'm watching could leave and I could lose them, and I would have to break off if I couldn't find them within you know a certain amount of time. I could literally drive more and not get paid for that time than the actual surveillance itself. It's almost like a gamble on your skills, on how good you are every time you go out. This particular surveillance, um, I happened to get a full day, um, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. It worked out in my favor. It doesn't always work that way. So sometimes I could literally, which I think I've talked about before, I could literally be driving more just to get back and forth from my case than the actual case time itself. And when you're doing your own business, a lot of times you don't get paid for the travel there. It happens, unless you incorporate it somehow. Um, but that's just my particular situation. So nothing's guaranteed. You know, everything kind of depends on a little bit of luck, your skills, um, and a bunch of other variations that could get in your way um, from completing your day. So just wanted to put that in there. We can go back to the video now. Okay, well, my day is over. Uh, made it through the eight hours, which is a good thing. Uh, completed all my objectives. And now I'm going to be headed home. Um, I still got another hour and a half or so drive uh, back home. But uh, that's okay. At least I'm headed home. You know, one of the things that I see searched a lot 
on on uh, on the internet or comments, I should say, on the website is something always in reference to um, private investigators um, editing video or only videotaping um, the the bad stuff or the stuff that's incriminating to somebody. And although I'm sure there's some turds out there doing that, I could give two craps. You know what I mean? Like, I I just want to videotape everything the person's doing that I can get without getting caught. And then that's it. I compile it. So whether it's good or bad or proves a claim or doesn't prove a claim or just tells the insurance company that, yeah, this guy really is hurt. I don't care. Cause that's I'm not I'm not the judge and jury I'm just I'm just the information collector so you guys got I mean again I'm sure there's guys out there like that I don't know any of them and I wouldn't associate with them if I did and I'd probably tell you who it was if I found out there were guys doing that but that's just not I mean it's, I mean I can't even I don't even know I mean you have to do some serious editing anyways to do that right I don't know I don't have time for that. I barely have time to get my video together and organize and send it to the clients. Like that's that's time consuming enough. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, so I guess I got another hour and a half to go and I'll be home and I'll get to see the family. After your long day of surveillance and uh, um, being gone all day, you get to come home and write reports. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, work on my video and I'm going to go ahead and edit, uh, finish writing my report, submit it for the day, and uh, then I'll eventually be done. Uh, i got other, some other work to do as well, but my main thing is to get the surveillance report in today and the note and the video. And uh, I'll be good to go uh, and ahead of the or 13 excuse me 9 13 p.m. I'm all done with my reports my notes and my video um, to, to be fair um, I, I didn't um, come right home and, and do the reports I did had dinner with the family uh, we went on a walk which that's a whole nother thing we'll talk about another time and um, and just uh, played some games with the kids um, before I got into my work, so I probably didn't get into my work until about 7, 7.30. Um, so, um, that's the day. That was a kind of a normal, typical day. The only difference is, is if a surveillance lasts longer, or you get so much video that the, the report and video time takes longer. But, uh, that's kind of like a normal surveillance day. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later.